Welcome. You're now in the den with Dr. Jen, a safe and relaxing place to explore female sexuality from a variety of perspectives and start thinking about sexuality outside the box. Do you know what relatively recent form of contraception and STD prevention has been billed as a form of female sexual empowerment? The female condom, because it is a woman-controlled condom and does not require a prescription to obtain. Now, even though they've been around since the early to mid-90s, I'm surprised to find that it's still not all that well-known. If you're not familiar, similar to the male condom, a female condom prevents pregnancy by blocking the passage of sperm to the egg. It is a thin, loose-fitting covering made of polyurethane plastic that forms a pouch which lines the vagina. Now, it has two flexible rings, as you see here. The inner ring at the closed end is inserted into the vagina and it covers the cervix holding the condom in place. It's inserted much like a diaphragm would be. The outer ring remains outside the vagina and covers the outer lips of the vagina and covers some of the vulva. Now the female condom is coated on the inside with a lubricant, so this is rather slippery. Uh, additional lubricant for the outside is provided in a small tube, but it's not spermicidal lubricant. Now a few caveats for you. It is expensive, particularly compared to the male condom. These can run two to three dollars a piece. It can be a bit unwieldy and difficult to get used to because it can be tricky to insert and position the inner ring and you have to be comfortable putting your fingers inside your vagina. It's generally recommended to try it at least twice to get the hang of it. And it can make an odd squeaky sound sometimes. But then, things that make you and your partner laugh during sex aren't necessarily a bad thing. Now the fact that the outer ring is visible outside the vagina can make some women feel uncomfortable. And penises have been known to accidentally bypass the outer ring and slip into the raw vagina. Okay, now some potential benefits of using a female condom. Now some women enjoy the way the outer ring rubs against their clitoris during sexual intercourse. This is good to use if you have latex allergies. And the polyurethane can warm to the inside of the vagina and feel just like the warm folds of the inner canal. You can use oil-based lubricants with it because it's not made of latex. And from a male perspective, as compared to the male condom, it's not as constrictive on the penis. And some men enjoy the feel of the inner ring against the head of their penis. And it doesn't necessarily have to interrupt the sexual moment because you can put one in several hours in advance. Because part of it remains outside the vagina, it offers some protection from STDs that can be transmitted just from skin-to-skin -skin contact, like herpes or HPV. Now, however, although they are stronger than latex condoms, their overall effectiveness rates, and this is determined through the chance of pregnancy, as compared to the male condom, it's slightly less effective. Sexual fun fact number 170. How are female condoms being used exclusively by males? Well, I learned this since I do some work in the HIV prevention and education field. Sometimes gay men or men who have sex with men take out the inner ring of the female condom and use it for anal sex so that it's less restrictive on their penises. It's not the most effective method, but it is clever. Den recommend. Well, the obvious recommendation here would be to try a female condom, but I'll give you something a little less obvious as a den recommend, a website to check out. If you want to read more on the female condom as a form of protection for yourself or a partner, this is the site for avert.org, which is for averting HIV and AIDS worldwide.
What's that word? I love this den section. Okay, here's a new word for you. Microbicide. What's that word? Well, a microbicide is a compound or substance that is intended to reduce the ability of a virus or bacteria to infect humans. There have been and continue to be huge efforts around the development of a microbicide for HIV prevention that might be applied to condoms or used independently. It's believed that this could particularly benefit women in countries with high rates of HIV infection, but where education, culture, and gender roles make it difficult for women to negotiate condom use. So if you have any comments on successes or challenges with the female condom, visit me at drjensden.com, email me at jennifer at drjensden.com, or call the Den hotline at 1-866-403-7592. So strap on a little polyurethane and be kind to yourself. Everybody ready? The hat looks okay? Yep. I'm not gonna be like, think I look silly? Yeah. Well. <laughs>